I really recommend you be in a very like chill, relaxed, calm mood when you do this, because trust me when I say this is the part that could either be your relaxation, losing yourself to the edit, or you will get pissed off. Hey guys, Davison here. I'm your TikTok and Snapchat help girl. So if that content interests you, don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe even applaud me with the new applause button, which is tipping me if I help you out. Yes, you can do that on YouTube. So today I'm going to teach you how to do the Alors on Danse slash Pitbull uh, Meet Me at the Hotel Room mashup white light flash tutorial in cap cut. So what that is, is that you can create, which you can see the thumbnail right down here, these cool white flashes using cap cut for this trend or for any other trend. Now we're going to show you how to do it actually two ways. By me showing you this next video, you can actually screen record this video or their video or use snaptick.app to download it and then just edit it into your video to follow the trend. Uh, so that's like the easy way. But you should ideally use CapCut to create your own version of the white flash animation effect. So this is the easy way. That slaps so hard guys, I love the audio. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a video already that exists of myself and uh, of course a video with that audio which we will extract and we are going to create a new project. We're going to use this video of myself, zero, okay, so we're going to use this video of me. We're going to import the video, we're importing the video with uh, just extracting the sound. Now in order to make your animation sync easier to your final video, we're going to use something called Match Cut and hit a beat wherever you want a cut for the animation to change. Now you can do this at whatever pacing you want, but every time you hit this button, it will add a beat and later it will be much easier to cut the overlay to this beat track. Otherwise you can do each cut individually on your own, but it will take longer. Okay, so now that you have your audio with your beats, what you're going to do is that you're gonna create a cut right when the beat drops. And we're going to add what's known as an overlay to create the back a black base layer and then we're going to add a white layer over top of that which we're going to then split up and move around to create the animation so we're going to do add overlay and then we're going to hit stock videos and we're going to scroll down to this black and we're going to hit add and now we have a black base now just to make sure that it's on the timeline and then we do the over the white overlay over top. We're just going to hit main track to bring it up, which is what I did up here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add another overlay. And this time you're going to choose the white box and you're going to enlarge it so that it fits and then the opacity to 70 to 75 percent depending on what you want the girl in her tutorial she did 75 uh, I'm gonna do 70 that's what I feel like so now that we have that what we're going to do is wherever there's a beat you're gonna create a cut okay so you're just going to touch this box and okay so here's where I want to create a split and here's where I want to create a split and these are all our splits for when it is animated to the music. You're doing it this way because it's much easier than doing it manually, though you could, but it gets hard to do because you have to make such rapid cuts. It's much easier to do it this way. So now that we've cut it down, and this is the key part, okay? Because you can do this part any way you want, right? You're just going to drag and drop 
see this is the white square anywhere where you want it to appear in your animation so in this case i'm starting it it uh being kind of a diagonal triangle on the one side for the first beat right so boop boop it's so fast right so right here and then with the next cut i put an i just basically it's the same thing i move the square around i resize it so i like with my fingers i can rotate any way i want right so i just rotated it and resized it until it was another triangle from here to here okay and this is the part that can take hours if you're like so freaking obsessive compulsive or perfectionist but do remember that this flashes by like not even half a second if you're cutting it the way that i cut it i really recommend you be in a very like chill relaxed calm mood when you do this because trust me when i say this is the part that it could either be your relaxation losing yourself to the edit or you will get pissed off because it's not easy to drag and drop things always on your phone it's not easy to get the angles perfect you know it, it just just do this when you're feeling good is my recommendation or drink like maybe eight red red bulls no i'm kidding just just be in your happy place I, right now i'm not in my happy place because apparently my phone's dying and i'm just taking way too long with this segment and i had it perfect before and of course i destroyed it to show it to you okay so let's just say it's like that so now we have the first cut we have the second cut and then the third i just again took the square oops wrong square undo thank god there's an undo button so this is a square gotta make sure i'm on the right part it is a little hard to when you're highlighting the segment because it's white sliders on top of a white button whatever you're gonna have to deal with it but look i just moved it around so i decided okay i wanted to start on the bottom half of the screen for this beat and then i wanted to switch to the top okay so then i you know i moved it around till it occupied a portion of the top and so does the effect of flip 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 now the last thing you want to do is then okay once we have all these like you've picked out where you want the box to appear we're going to click animation in and you're going to click fade in because it's going to add an additional animation to make the white pulse so you're going to go fade in fade in every single time you're going to hit fade in and let it use its preset fade in fade in fade and you got it in so the effect should look like so far as we're animating it it looks like this got it so you're going to keep doing this for this entire segment it will take you far longer than you think it's going to take you look at how long it's taken me just to explain this part my god somebody just keeps sending me a message so do, 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 do. another thing you can do you can actually do shape overlays mask and you can make presets so there's stars there's hearts there's rectangles there's film strips there's split so we're going to do say heart and we can get our little heart to flash and then we're going to invert it so then we got a little duke duke so you see now though now that i've shown you how to do this right you see how it becomes then attractive just to take that video from before and then you have the automatic instead of doing all this shit. okay and then you take your beginning of the video and then you drag this pre-done animation right to where the beat drops so instead of struggling for hours you can just go <laughs> i mean you understand why adding his animation or her animation is superior to creating your own 
but when you create your own, it's fully customizable. So I hope I helped you out. I hope you're peaceful in creating your own white flash animation edit for your TikToks using CapCut and the overlay function with the white and black stock elements. My name is Davison, so if I helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe tip me with some applause because this took uh, this tutorial uh, took up uh, <laughs> four hours. <laughs> I love you guys. See you later. Bye.